नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द थर्टीन लेक्चर ऑन द सीरीज ऑफ हेरिटेज साइट्स फ्रॉम इंडिया विच हैव बीन इंस्क्राइब इन यूनेस्कोज वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज लिस्ट ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू थ्री सच साइट्स टुगेदर ऑल ऑफ विच वर इंस्क्राइब इन द ईयर नाइनटीन एटी फाइव uh the first one to go is the manas wildlife sanctuary which is in the state of assam in the north east of india and uh, this basically derives its name from goddess mansa uh the goddess of snakes and serpentines and is recognized not only for its rich biodiversity but also for its spectacular scenery and natural landscape let me just see if i can do justice to it by seeing the picture so this is this boisterous river manas which is very joyfully like a child it's swirling down the rugged himalayan mountains in the backdrop of this calm forested hills of bhutan coupled with the serenity of the alluvial grasslands and tropical evergreen forests so it is so green and this offers a unique uh, combination of wilderness and pristine beauty uh and uh, this wildlife sanctuary provides habitat for many of india's most threatened uh, flora and fauna species the second on the list for today is the kiolado national park uh which was earlier referred to as the bharatpur bird sanctuary also popularly known as the birds paradise you know why because uh, this is basically the place where the major wintering uh, uh, you know uh, it's it's one of the major wintering areas uh, wherein the large number of aquatic birds from afghanistan turkmenistan china siberia due to the strategic location in the middle of the central asian migratory flyway and presence of water they come here so uh, basically uh, bharatpur bird sanctuary or the kiolado national park was developed in a natural depression wetland in rajasthan and uh, was a former uh, interestingly duck hunting reserve for the maharajas and uh, uh, you know this is the only park in india that's that's completely enclosed by uh, a 2 meter high boundary wall that minimizes the possibility uh, of any encroachment and biotic disturbances on the one hand but it has a flow also because uh, uh, there is no possibility uh, of a buffer zone which could be developed Uh, as the wetlands of kiolado are not natural so it's obvious that it's it's dependent and dependent on what dependent on the monsoon and on the water which is pumped in from outside and and the the basic reservoir uh, traditionally speaking has been the ajan band from where uh, this water has been pumped into uh, the erstwhile bharatpur bird sanctuary or the kiolado national park Uh, the last on the list today is the kaziranga national park which is spread over a 430 square kilometer area sprinkled with elephant grass meadows uh, the swampy lagoons dense forests in the presence of brahmaputra river uh, which actually makes it look very enigmatic and uh, it's a home to approximately 2/3 of world's uh, total population of uh, the indian one horned rhinoceros and uh, it is located on the edge of the eastern himalayan biodiversity hotspot so i'm basically talking about the golaghat and uh, the nagaon district uh, in the state of assam uh, and uh, along with of course the iconic one horned rhinoceros this park is also the breeding ground of elephants of uh, water buffalo and of swamp deer Uh, over time uh, very fortunately uh, the tiger population has also increased in kaziranga and that is why in 2006 it was declared uh, as a tiger reserve the park is also recognized as an important area by bird life international for the conservation of avi faunal species so thank you so much and i hope you are enjoying this series stay blessed take care jai hind and namaste